welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to design a simple m10 screw a decorative m10 screw it's uses in many places for decoration with the uh, and we will draw some knurling also so it easiest to fix I hope you like it so let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS start to make a simple m10 screw so first we will select front plane and choose a sketch now here we will start to draw our first geometry just go to sketch first select line and I'll draw a line up to origin point upward this is a simple geometry of line exit now delete delete this tangent relation now let's define it to so choose the smart dimension twenty three mm and keep thirty mm okay select this line and make relation vertical that's it now again choose the smart dimension keep 7 mm 3 mm 5 mm 4.25 mm that's it let's keep this 12 mm and this is small dimension exit check this dimension and keep it 2 mm let's choose the angle let's say 45 degree the same here keep 45 degree now see our geometry is fully defined so we will go ahead feature and select revolver boss base let's select this bottom line as the axis of revolution click OK now this is the our base of screw M10 screw here we will create knurling face and here we will create threads so first we will define the material just select the part go to appearance and here appearance then uh, you will find here metal in metal I'll select polished steel now see it looks real view just because I'm using a professional graphics card in normal computers you don't have professional graphics card now let's define some other parameters keep chamfer 0.5 mm let's select this face so the both end will be selected okay now fill it and keep 0.5 mm and select this inside face okay again keep fillet and I'll choose this face but I'll keep minimum 0.3 mm that's it now here I want to create thread for that first I need to make a plane so I'll select this face plane see it's going to this di direction so let's keep the distance 2 mm only we will create a plane just above 2 mm be uh, front of this main plane face okay now select this plane a sketch normal and here draw a circle this is we are going to draw a thread okay nine point eight one eight mm okay now go to feature and here you will find one option helix and spiral keep select here pitch and revolution constant I'll prefer pitch one numbers and revolution let's say 20 but this going reverse direction so uncheck this box 
counter clockwise this one no need taper helix okay so this is the our path for thread let's make the path hide this plane top plane a sketch normal see exit we will do some modification in our previous geometry first geometry edit see here delete this relation keep 2 mm now see the geometry is still defined exit that's it now choose top plane sketch normal now here we will draw the profile for triangle for thread cutting choose line draw a horizontal line then try to make a cone center point center line select these three lines and make relation symmetric okay now first define this angle keep angle 60 degree uh, let's keep the length 0.826 mm and let's define the angle 60 mm okay now do one thing select this center point and this path and make relation pierce okay now see the geometry is fully defined so exit and here go to feature and you will find swift cut command see the profile selected just select the path see it's going to cut the thread select here okay now see you can see the thread we cut it now it's time to make some knurling face here or let's choose chamfer keep 3 mm and select this corner keep 45 degree okay now see it's make the sharp edge let's select this face a sketch normal go to sketch and select circle and draw a circle with 13.5 mm diameter now we will convert it into helix so select here is helix and spiral reverse direction uh pitch and revolution pitch we will select 21 mm or let's say 25 mm see revolution only 0.5 mm you can see it here it's going perfect 0 degree counter clockwise okay see here now again choose top plane sketch and here we will draw rectangle a uh, sorry triangle and connect this triangle into midpoint of this line exit first select this line make first relation vertical and choose here for construction okay now press shift key and this three lines symmetric relation okay now let's define the angle first keep angle 90 degree Zero point nine five mm. Uh, that's it. It's 
okay now select this path and select this sharp point and make relation peers okay now you can see the drawing is fully defined it's no need to do anything more just exit and again go to feature and here you will find swift cut command now see here the path already selected just select the uh, profile selected just select the path see and you can see the preview how it's going to cut it a thread okay now see now we we will do we want to make here knurling so we will repeat this process multiple number of times so here select circular pattern select this cutout see here even you can select from here also and select one circular face I selected this one circular face keep equal spacing and I want 40 number of cutouts select here ok it may takes time because uh, this is a complicated process and it will take always time but it's fine now I want to mirror this all process so select here top plane mirror and in this mirror first select sweep cut to and circular pattern select here ok and let's wait it will take obviously time because this is a time consuming process it always takes time keep patient now here you can see the process is finished and this is our knurling you can see a beautiful knurling how we did in SOLIDWORKS let's make some hole here for a screw select this face a sketch circle and draw a circle here let's choose the smart dimension 11 mm now just we want to make a hole so select here extrude cut and make the depth only 1.5 mm ok now let's choose fillet keep 0.5 mm select inside edge and this outside edge ok these two edges we selected select the inside face and we will give some color so it looks nice so this is the M10 screw M10 screw with knurling and with thread it looks beautiful it's uh, almost you can say it's a decorative screw uh, it always uses in many de purpose as like a decoration please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS don't forget to share and like our videos. Thanks for watching.